Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to try and do a little tutorial. Um, I wanted to share with you this cute little um, tassel that I made, the paper tassel with the gold um, embossing on the ends. Um, you know, we've all bought those ones that are, you know, uh, pre-made ones and they have that on the bottom and they're they're really fun so they're easy to make so I thought I would come on and share with you how to make one of these and then I'm using these cute 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 little um, chain links and lobster class that I got from um, uh, BB's crafts so I wanted to show you how you know what a cute little thing this makes they um, the chains come in this whole baggie of these beautiful colors I'll link them below so if you want to check them out they also had a, a bundle that was um, these are kind of um, translucent they have some that are kind of that aren't so they you know they're more of a solid looking type color and um, but I like this one because they were more pastel and then see-through so I really like that so I use these on the project and then I also <clears throat> this is the clasp that I used um, these are also from BB's crafts and they came in this um, assortment also and again I got the translucent ones because I just like the looks of that because they were you know looked a little bit more pastel so even like the red you know doesn't look super red you know what I mean so um, Anyway, I'll link these below also. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so let's try and do this paper tassel dipped in, um, well, it's not dipped, but um, with the um, gold embossed trim. Okay. So this again is what it looks like. Okay. So. Bear with me, I haven't done very many tutorials. Um, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so first off, this is just kind of my paper that I use. You can tell it's well used. I kind of just keep this under my my um, uh, glass mat right here. Um, and then I just pull it out whenever I want to do any embossing or inking, um, just to you know keep it off of my, my glass. So anyway, I used this die here. <clears throat> it's a tassel die. This is from, I believe it's Echo Park is where this one's from. I have a couple different ones. I have like a longer, thinner one from um, that I got from My Favorite Things and that. But this one, I just decided to use the long one, and it's a shorter one, too. So, anyway, any of them will work. And you can cut this out. I And on, I made a couple other paper ones before I made the one that's um, uh, embossed on the bottom. And I cut them, this is all from the same die, and I cut them all just different lengths. So you can just like trim off, trim off the bottom to make them as long as you want. So these are all just plain paper tassels. Um, and you can see all the different lengths, and it's all from the same die. Um, I just wrapped a piece of um, Baker's Twine inside there, and then I just um, topped it with this um, little tiny pink rickrack around the edge. So, so these are just some plain paper tassels, okay? <clears throat> but to kind of step it up, this is what you do. Okay, so here's my paper tassel. I'm just going to leave it the length that it is. Okay, I'm going to lay that right there. <clears throat> I'm going to take my um, Versamark. It's, a, it's called a watermark stamp pad. So it's just clear. It's clear ink. There's different brands. Um... But I, I've had this one forever, and I'm still using it. I mean, I used to do a ton more stamping than I do now, and uh, this is still really good. Okay, so I'm just going to take my stamp pad, and I'm going to, I just want, you know, to coat the ends a little bit. So I'm just going to take it and just kind of, um, you know, pull it across there. I'm going to try and keep it fairly even. I don't know how well, how good of a job I'm going to do, but <clears throat> just basic, okay? Sorry, I got kind of a groggy throat. Okay, so now I've coated it with that um, Versamark ink, which is an embossing ink. 
I don't know if you can, I don't know if the light's catching that at all, but you can kind of see it a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to just pour my embossing powder over and um, let's see, let me tell you. I'm using this, this one's from Zing. It's gold. It's an embossing powder. Okay, so you can just pour a whole bunch over it because you're just going to tap it off anyway. So just pick it up, tap it off, and I didn't do too bad but this is where it's going to be round rounded and this is going to be in the inside anyway probably let's see yeah i'll just start from that in um uh, so it won't matter if it's like uneven or whatever okay so then i just take my let me set this right here i'm gonna take my paper and i'm just gonna funnel this um back into my into my jar put my lid on so i don't mistakenly um, emboss all that that's in there okay let's do this right here I take my um, embossing to uh, my heat tool this is a Heidi swap mink one it just I used to have another one that was like black and it was just ugly <laughs> I got rid of it um, and got this white one I've seen pink ones and stuff so but this one still works and the white works good too so I'm just gonna turn it on and you kind of let it heat up just for a couple seconds and then we're going to take it to our project and we're just going to start heating it up. Hopefully I'm in frame. Hopefully you can see it's starting to change. It's starting to melt. See that? See that's starting to melt that? So it's going from this dull thing down here on this other end down here to the shiny um it's it's one of the most satisfying things too is to watch this stuff melt <laughs> with the heat so and you just go across it all okay so now it looks like it's pretty much all melted okay so that's what it looks like so now it's all this gold foil now i could actually go over this again um you know if you want more coverage and to kind of even this up so I think I'll do that I'll go ahead and just once it's dry and it's it dries right away so um, just go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and just ink this up a little bit more and I'm gonna go over this again to try and there's a couple little spots that didn't get filled in which doesn't really matter but um, just for the sake of the video I'll go ahead and Cover it all up anyway, and then just sprinkle it all on again, and then just tap it off. Okay, so I got it up a little bit farther this time, and I could, if I really, if like if I was doing this project it was going to be straight, and I didn't want any of this excess up here, I could, I could just, you know, take a little. I keep a little um, paintbrush usually to brush off the excess. So you could do that. So now I, you can see I kind of got it up farther. So it's more of a straight line. And I think it might have covered, you know, had a little bit better coverage. Because you're never sure, you know, because it's clear. So let's do this again and knock off the excess into my bottle. So don't waste that. And you can get embossing powders in all different colors. All different colors. I I use gold, white, and black the most, um, and clear. Clear I like too. Okay, so let's heat this up again. And then just watch the magic happen. Sometimes you might want to like hold your paper with a piece, you know, like, like tweezers or something like that if it's getting too close to your hands and, you know, like burning it. Kind of want to make sure all these pieces are separated too. So they're not sticking together. And if they do, you can just pull them apart once you... So it takes you guys seeing how that's all, that pretty gold metallic now. And it's more filled in. See, so now it's more filled in, you know, if that bugs you or whatever. Those kind of stuck together, so I'm just going to pull them apart. Let's go over that right there again, because it looks like some of it might not have got melted where it was stuck together. To make sure. 
Yep, there it, there it bubbled up. Okay. And it's really cool. You can um, you can do this embossing. You can like do it over and over like three or four times, and it gives it a really cool look. And then you can like die cut something out of it. Like if you just do a piece of paper or a shape, it gives it a really cool look for an embellishment. Okay, so here is our tassel all um, done up. Okay, so I'm, I think I'll just leave this here, I guess, so I can work on it. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is put, I don't think I need to do this, but I just did it anyway, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use hot glue to wrap it around, but on the first few I did put some, a strip of score, a score tape on the edge just to be on the safe side so that it kind of all stayed together so I'm gonna do that I prefer score tape over like the red line the red that red clear tape this one you can tear it to you know when you're done you don't have to get the scissors out you can just rip it wherever you're ending at and I also feel like the strip that you peel off comes up easier so and I like I say I've used both I started off with the red and it was always a pain in the butt so I, I really like score tape and I get all the different sizes. This one's like a 1 8 inch. I also get it in the 1 4th. I usually get those two sizes, 1 8 and 1 4th. Um, okay, so there's that. And the next thing we're going to do is take one of these links and I'm just going to lay it down right here. And I think I'll put a little hot glue there too, just to kind of make sure I'm secured. Okay, and I'm just going to lay part of my link in there. It's not quite halfway up just because I want a lot of it to show. Okay and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue you know for a little bit of space not the whole thing at a time but I'm going to do a little bit to start wrapping it around and try and keep it like even. Try to keep all the top even. Okay see that? Hopefully I was in frame. <laughs> Okay, here we go. A little bit more glue. Just keep wrapping it around, keeping it lined up, even at the top, just so it looks nice and finished. I mean, if you if you messed up, you could always you know put a trim around it or something like that to to hide it if you needed to. Okay, there's that. Just keep wrapping it. And of course you could do the same thing if you didn't have the, the rings, these links. Um, you could just do the same thing and just do make a regular tassel, you know, do a, with, just with the, um, you know, that it's more a rounded shape. Okay, so I've got that all around there like that. And so that is how my little tassel looks. So cute. So you can just leave it as is, you know, just like that if you... Like I say, if you just wanted to use one link, or if you wanted to just put, if you wanted to just use, um, you know, string or yarn or whatever, you just, instead of putting the link in there, you do the yarn or the string, and that's, you know, then just wrap around it and see how it just kind of makes a, a little circle. And that just gives you something to hang it by. Okay, so there is that. That looks so pretty, so rich with that gold on there. Okay, and then all I did <clears throat> was took the next link, and they work best if you kind of sh um, put them together at the where the, the little separation is. Okay, and then it just pops on like that. And then this top one, I'll just do the same thing. I'm going to turn that link around, and I'm going to put this together like that. So there's our three pretty little links, that, and I just chose colors that match the paper. Okay. <clears throat> and then, <coughs> what I did on this, I'm not going to, I forgot a step too, not a step, but it doesn't really matter which order you do it, I guess. But anyway, on this other one, I took this trim, and this is just a piece of trim that I had that came off of something that somebody sent me, and I always save all these little pieces, and I just keep it in a, in a basket at the top of my desk, and I use these tiny pieces all the time. I'm going to wrap that around. So I'm going to put some um, glue. And I try to, when I'm gluing all these things up, I try to 
like not have all my seams at the same spot. I try to kind of like overlap them. So like my seam for the paper is right there. So I don't want to, um, so I don't want to line up my, my trim right there too. I want to kind of like cover it and that'll help keep it together. So I'm going to, um, start my trim like back here, I think. So I'm just going to put some hot glue right there. <clears throat> And I'll start this right here and just kind of glue it down. Just kind of hold it in place. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap it around. So I'm going to go around here. Put some more hot glue there. And I'm just lining up the top of the trim with the top of the, um, of the tassel. Okay. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of measure where I want. I don't want to overlap a lot because then it will be, um, you know, real bulky. So I'm just gonna see where I need to to just barely cover over it, and then I'll cut it off right there. So I'm just gonna cut right there. Okay, and then I'll glue some more on. <clears throat> wrap it around and I'll just kind of hold it there in place okay all right so there's my little trim piece that I had like I had on the other one and then I also put a um, on this one I have my little bow right there okay so I'm gonna put this little bow that matches on it. So I'm going to decide, do I want it on this side or the other side? Sometimes I use it to cover up, you know, like where there's a seam. And I think I will use it on this side right here because, you know, where it kind of overlaps a little bit. So I'm going to put this bow. <clears throat> and these tiny little bows are um, gifts from... Deborah, she makes all these great bows and she makes these tiny little ones for me and they are so cute and I have a whole little tub of them that I use constantly <clears throat> and they are the best I can't believe she does these tiny little things so thank you Deborah. <laughs> you keep me supplied in bows and I love it so there's what it looks like all kind of finished around the top okay alright now I'm going to take this jump ring, it's a kind of a thicker jump ring. I just had it in it in a fit, so that's what I'm gonna use. Um, it's about um it's a about a half inch or close to it uh, um across. I don't know like what size millimeter or whatever it is, but I'm just gonna open that. I just got my little case out that had different sizes and found one that fit and it did. So I'm gonna hook that through there. And then I'm going to hook the cute little lobster clasp that I'm going to use that I showed you that also came from BB's Crafts. And I'm going to hook that through the loop right there. And then I am just going to close this back up. This is like a real heavy gauge one, so it's really hard to move. But, but I did it. And there we go. So there is my finished um gold foiled embossed tassel isn't that cute with the cute little chains i love it let me move this out of the way so you can see it better so pretty i love it so so easy to make um any any of these tassels super easy to make like i said if you don't have the these things um, this just kind of makes it kind of a wider and just gives it a cute look. And I just wanted to use some of my, um, try out some of these little links. Um, but you can definitely just do the same thing with a um, regular tassel. And just before you wrap it up, you just, um, you know, add, apply the, the Versamark ink. And then coat it with the embossing powder. And then heat it up and watch the magic happen. So then you're done. So now I have these two cuties. So anyway, I hope this was helpful to some of you. Hope you um, hopefully you got um, inspiration from it. 
Um, like I said, I will link these, um, the, the chain link things and the lobster clasps that I got from Baby's Crafts. I will link them in the description box along with the website. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think. Did I do okay? Do you, would you like to see more things? Um, yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you next time. Bye.